All right, all right. Ooh -wee. If you are a bull and you were following my arrow that said that we would get to spy 534, I need you to go in the comments right now and give me a huge boom shakalaka. I'm also going to open up the comment section for all of you bears that were doubting me, laughing at the fact that I said we would make a brand new all-time high in June. I will also give you the opportunity to go to the comment section, and I am now accepting apologies for doubting the arrow and doubting the analysis, because I don't think you could have got any closer than this, and I don't know anybody else who is consistently giving you such accurate technical analysis of where the market is going to go in both directions. Remember, we got risk off for the pullback and then got risk on for the bounce to all-time highs and that is called being an unbiased trader who doesn't care if the market's going up or down or sideways they're just here to make profits manage risk and absolutely crush this market so if you want to be part of the team that constantly wins and constantly crushes this market feel free to join my discord server which i'll put a link below on how you can join it all right so now that we've hit the price target the big question is going to be what now and this is what i was talking about the other night when we got here i simply just want you to move your risk level from 523 up here to about 530 or 531. that means that you should be locking in some profits up here at the price targets but you can continue to stay long in this bull trend while we have a powerful bull trend while spy is above 530. so i'm going to go ahead and draw in that risk level we'll just use 531 and if at any point we come back down and break below 531 we are getting risk off because there is going to be the chance for a summer correction and we know we have these gaps way down here below so any correction from here could be very large and we've already made lots of profit on this bounce so you don't want to get overly greedy and just ignore the fact that we're breaking down if price shows us it's breaking down by breaking below the breakout so the breakout was 531 so if we cannot hold the breakout we could easily top here and continue lower but i want you to let the price action do all the talking which means you need to let price actually break down below that risk level before you start getting bearish. If we break down below that level, I'll be bearish right there with you. But while we're above it, we need to be optimistic that the market can and probably will continue to climb higher. So I've added a couple more price targets at 537 and 541. And those are the price targets that will likely continue to climb towards if we do hold above 531. Do not overcomplicate it. I promise you it is really that simple. On the NASDAQ 100 triple Qs, we were up 2.02% today with a very bullish day. And if you look at this arrow, just like I told you on SPY, I don't know anybody who could have predicted it more accurate than this. I told you to buy the pullback into the gap fill at 446 and then look for the price target above 461. And we actually blasted right through my price target and hit the next price target at 463. So above 463, we have 466 and then 470. And just like I told you in SPY, right now I want you to stay bullish above this breakout. And that means you're going to stay bull above 459 to 460. If we cannot hold above that, get risk off immediately because we could see a correction and that correction could take us a lot lower. So we are only staying bullish while we can hold above 459 to 460. Immediately risk off below it. And I do mean immediately because that would be very bearish if this is a false breakout and we start coming down quickly. If we hold above it, continue to swing long for the upper price targets and then lock your profits as we continue to climb. In the Dow Jones, we were up 0.26% today. And if you want to be bullish on the market as a whole, this is probably the biggest dagger in your side right now because there's something going on in the Dow Jones that could be hinting the market is getting ready to top. And we've already started to see the Dow Jones head lower first. There is absolutely nothing bullish about this chart unless we just strictly look in the short term and say that it's bull above 387. And there is no doubt the Dow Jones is a short term bull trend above 387. So for that reason, I'm going to make this very simple and I'm just going to give you one level to watch and it's going to be 387. While we're above it, we can climb higher towards 391 and then above 391, we're looking a lot more bullish. But until that happens, if we break down below 387, again, instantly risk off because we could be coming down to 377. Do not overcomplicate it. I'm trying to keep all of this analysis very simple so that anybody can follow it and make a trade plan. I do not want to overcomplicate any of this. Stay below above 387 and get risk off below it. On the Russell 2000 IWM ETF, we were up 1.53% today and we did get a bounce off of this previous low at 202. So there is going to be the potential of a double bottom here, but there's also still the potential of a lower high before we come down here and fill the gap at 200. So for the Russell, I think it's very simple. You can use the risk level at 202 or 203, risk on above it, risk off below it. And if we get risk off, we will be looking to get risk on again down here near 199 to 200. So we have very clear risk levels. All you need is a trade plan and to follow the price action.
On the RK ETF, we were up 2.13% today, and we did bounce up towards this resistance at 44, but I will remind you, we are in a bear trend below 45, so there's nothing to get excited about. It is very possible this is just another lower high before we continue for the next lower low, which would be down here at 41 and 40, so continue to stay risk off below 45. On the VIX, we were down over 4% today, and the VIX is following my arrow very accurately. And again, I don't know anybody else who is consistently doing this, but the VIX is crushing right on schedule as we broke out to the new all-time high price targets. So as the VIX continues to crush, remember that is a bullish indication that fear is leaving the market. However, we do have our very clear risk-off levels, and if we hit those risk-off levels, expect to see the VIX spiking as well. On Bitcoin, we are currently trading above 71,000 with another higher high breakout, and we do have the bull trend, and I still think there's a very good chance we're going to 75,000. So continue to stay bullish while we can hold this breakout at 68 to 70,000. If you want to get risk off, wait for a breakdown below 68,000 and then you can get risk off in Bitcoin. On Nvidia stock, we were up 5.16% today and we blasted right through the price target at 11.95, which means above 11.95 we can go to 12.60, but I will caution you right now, we do have a gap to fill that did open today and I think there's a very good chance that gap is going to fill. And I actually think we're going to fill the other gap down here at 1064 as well. So while this is exciting and it is going a lot higher, this is definitely a stock that I would be locking profits in. And I even think there is going to be a time coming very soon where bears are going to be profitable shorting this thing. You can stay long because we still have the bull trend, but I just want you to be very cautious and not overly aggressive, especially if you're buying up here because this is the levels you should be selling at. Again, this is just my opinion, but I don't think we're going a lot higher before we start to see some serious profit taking. On Tesla stock, we were up 0.13% today and Tesla did hit the support at 173 and that support did hold up, but we are looking a lot weaker while we're below 180. So I suggest simply waiting until we can get price action above 180 and then instantly getting bullish. And if you do want to buy this falling knife for this Dip, you're managing risk at 173 and 167 and then below 167 we're going to have to get risk off because it's a bear trend on apple stock we were up 0.78 percent today and we did break and close above the price target at 195 and i told you above 195 we're looking for 198 but again i think this is where you should be locking in profits and not buying but do whatever you want it's your money you can do whatever you want i just suggest selling up here and not buying and i do think apple is going to start cooling down here very soon but it may not happen until it hits that next price target at 198. So jumping back over to S&P 500, there is no doubt we are absolutely crushing this market, but I want you to be very cautious up here. We do still have a very strong bull trend, but I want you managing that risk, which means if this bull trend starts to roll over and breaks below the risk levels, I want you to get risk off immediately. Don't let winning trades turn into losers. This is very likely going to be a volatile time in the market coming up here very soon, which means you should be locking lots of profits or at least tightening up your risk management, which is very easy to do now because we had the bull breakout. It is very easy to just up your risk level stay bullish while we're above that risk level and then just move like water and get risk off if we break down below it there's no reason to panic there's no reason to blindly short bull trends focus on your trade plan and if you don't have a trade plan you need to go make one make sure you're prepared for the bullish scenario where we continue climbing higher within this bull trend and make sure you're prepared for the bearish scenario where this bull trend is topping out and getting ready to go through a correction do not care which one plays out be prepared for both of them and then react to the price action and as i always tell you let the price action do all the talking this is still a bull trend until it's not but we do have some warning signs from the index like the dow jones and the small caps so we do want to be cautious here as we're getting this breakout and not get overly optimistic if you want to come crush the market with us come join us over at the stocks channel discord server where you'll get access to all of my intraday updates my technical analysis and my trade ideas you can find out how to join my discord server by clicking on the link in the description of this video and i'll also put the link down in the comment section below so thank you for watching everybody i hope you're crushing this market and as always i will see you in the next episode